What's up with y'all? Disturbing stalkers caught on Twitch live stream part four. It's been a while. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, everything on. Okay. When streamers are live, there's almost nothing they can do to stop people from getting on and being weird to their audience. Women streamers and IRL streamers in particular deal with this constantly. But today, we have even more clips of some terrifying, disturbing, and downright skeevy interactions between streamers, their viewers, and sometimes even strangers. I know everyone wants their 15 minutes of fame. Still, some people go about it in the most- Yeah, I'm gonna do my first vlog soon. I've done a lot. The only thing I ain't do is like vlogging and, and like IRL streams, but I will get to that. I say that to say I'm putting it in an infinite domain right now. If I- NPC GTA pedestrian beta cuck sim NCO spawn behind me. I'm fucking you up. I'm gonna kill you I'm sending you back to the loading screen with no materials YouTube this is for entertainment purposes only I help make episodes for South Park and Caillou. Let's continue Those terrifying threatening ways leaving everyone involved in watching as gross and uncomfortable as the streamer You'll have to watch through to see what I mean Creepy guy whispers in streamers ear Unfortunately, everyone deserves their personal space. This woman was not given that. A man from the background comes forward and whispers something into this streamer's ear. She's surprised by the intrusion, but also on stream, so she doesn't respond. However, he starts messing with her things from off camera, which puts her on edge. She gets increasingly more uncomfortable as she continues to sit there. The scary part is that if she leaves, nothing is keeping the man from following her. It's better to be watched in a well-lit establishment than cornered when you're alone, right? It's unclear what the man must have said to her, but it was enough to put her on edge for the rest of the clip. Her ass water and shit. Stream sniper can't take a hint. Streamer Botez deals with creepy men every once in a while. If you stream sniping people, or doxing, you deserve to get quick scoped up close. That's part of being an IRL streamer. Unfortunately, however, this particular stream sniper can't seem to take no for an answer. Off camera, a man asks Botez if they can shake hands. Do you mind if I shake your hands? Uh, honestly, my hands are kind of dirty, so if I were you on your own risk, I wouldn't. There you go. When she says no, that her hands are dirty, he asks how long she'll be streaming and if he can sit with her. Uh, probably a while. Yeah, do you mind if I come sit with you? Um, that, that's what's reserved for chat. When he doesn't get the response he wants, the man asks to sit beside her, which she says is fine, but she just wants to stream, not chat with him. Oh, do you mind if I come sit with you? Um, sure. She's polite as can be, but given the situation, the man is insistent on taking some of her time. She can't leave her escape, effectively trapped by the stranger's attention. Sorry about that, yeah. I want to just talk with chat and catch up a little bit. Creepy stalker stares in background of stream. It's hard to tell when people are watching streamers from afar or intently. This woman handles it well, but it is terrifying to imagine she doesn't even notice it while it's happening. The man in the background continues to watch her for several minutes as she quietly streams her lunch at this outdoor cafe. He doesn't approach her and doesn't seem to have anything else going on. The best case scenario for this would be someone zoning out, losing track and accidentally looking like they might be staring. However, more likely, this is just someone who's formed a parasocial relationship with their favorite streamer and traveled to meet her even in a foreign country. It's scary out there. Streamer location pinpointed midstream by stalker. Sometimes it's hard to know how interaction will go. For Alex Botez, it's hard to know when she's dealing with a stalker or a casual fan. This man comes up seemingly from nowhere, introducing himself to her while she's in the middle of her stream. Yeah, I'm tired. Nice to meet you, Ty. Nice to meet you, too. They introduce themselves, but he already knows her. She tells him she's streaming, but he knows that, too. How are you? I'm good, just streaming. Yeah, I know. This is when he says one thing that seems to set her off. He tells her that's how he found her meaning he tracked her through her stream to her exact location. That's how I kind of found you. That's how you found me? Oh, okay, cool. Well, then I'm going to go back to you, but it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thanks. This is a bone-chilling revelation, and she keeps it together only long enough for him to walk off before you can see her energy drop, and she focuses instead on her phone. 
Hopefully, she called someone for protection. IRL streamer Gochi's harassed. This woman was very much not in control of her stream. It seems like this business owner decided enough was enough and took matters into her own hand. He begins getting calls on the business line, threatening him before he takes the woman's phone and refuses to give it back until she complies and helps him figure out who's sending the threats. Turn that off. Okay, I'll leave. Ouch. Okay, I'll leave. He's holding her phone to make sure she won't leave and saying she's drunk, despite her telling him that she isn't. Come over here. Yes, you are. She wants to go, and the man doesn't want to let her. By the end, they're threatening legal action, and the man can't hold them any longer, so the woman gets her phone back and they can leave. Please don't come back to my store. I'm never coming back to your store. I appreciate that. Welcome to AFK Journey, the best RPG for all players. If you're an adventurer, you can For a while, it was a bit touch and go, though. How would you react in this situation? Strange, aggressive stream sniper gets told off. Unlike some of the other clips on today's list, this one's more baffling than anything else. The stream sniper is clearly there to get some attention from the larger creators. Guys, what are y'all streaming on? What platform? I'm on YouTube. What's up, guys? They ask him effectively to leave because of germs, and the fact that he has his mask pulled down seems to make a few of them uncomfortable. Well, I, we got just like germs and stuff. But... The man continues his strange behavior offering that they can slap him if they'd like, but no one seems interested. You can slap me if you want. Yeah, but it's just, like, it's just like germs and stuff. Eventually noticing they aren't taking the bait, the man leaves them alone, leaving them all flabbergasted and confused by the encounter. Jesus Christ. Probably just a one-off, but it is funny how quickly the guy gets him to leave. Almost like nobody, including the sniper, really knew what was going on. Creepy streamer gets what's coming to him. This streamer quickly found out what happens when you catcall the wrong woman. He calls after a blonde woman only for the girl's dad to tell him off because she's 15. She's 15 dude. Hey bro, then why is she out this late, bro? What? Why is she out this late? He doesn't quite get it, and every time the dad comes back, he quickly goes from combative to apologetic. That's great, I apologize, bro. I'm not trying to trying to disrespect you anyway hey, possible. Hey, I totally I, 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 I totally apologize. He can't keep the tough guy act up when he eventually begins getting faced with the consequences of his actions, making their interactions downright comical. The dad tells him to stop catcalling, and the streamer apologizes only for him to call after the retreating dad and say it's his hood and the man needs to be careful. Be nice, this is my hood, bro. Oh, Not scared by the streamer's threats, he comes back just as quickly, and the streamer is telling a whole different story. When the dad leaves, he quickly tries to continue acting cool. Some other people walking by cause issues. The clip ends as the stranger walks by who doesn't like being filmed, and who does? What are you doing? What are you doing? Who the fuck are you talking to? Sorry, sir. Hey, take me on camera, bro. Right Sorry. Now. Okay, okay, okay. Right okay. now, delete okay, that shit, okay. homie. I, delete, I don't I play no camera okay, shit. Okay, okay. I'm not on the internet. It's you not, don't know it's me, not on the internet. Shit, delete shit. Stream snipers causing problems on the subway. Sometimes the stream snipers take care of themselves. A few of them approach the streamer, Ice Poseidon. The truth is, the person streaming rebuffed them and they took their frustration out on each other. There's nowhere to go in a crowded space like this, leaving them all trapped in this uncomfortable interaction together. One streamer sniper gets up in the other's face and it almost comes to blows, but the subway stops and the group finally gets out. Oh, let's get off. This is it. This is it. It's hard to know precisely the end goal here, but I don't think anyone walked away unscathed from this one. What do you think? Man, Streamer hit by a pedestrian. This one is a bad mix of the annoying streamer and the annoying people around it. After antagonizing a bunch of pedestrians on his live stream, streamer Burger Planet gets hit in the ear by one man and another starts yelling obscenities. Wow. He's a cut. Oh, hey, why are you doing that? Things go south quickly as he starts trying to get away. He's shaken by the interaction, even though it was a light hit, and runs out into traffic. No, 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 dude, dude, dude. Hey, hey, stop, dude, get away from me. He starts yelling at the others, still keeping it light, but no one takes him seriously. He runs in traffic as strangers drive around him, honking and trying to get by. Wait, wait! He does eventually slow down, but not until after a long break of trying to escape a perceived danger that doesn't seem to be coming for him. Crazy woman screams at streamer. 
Harassment isn't always physical. Unfortunately, it can. Yo, I get if you out there and you in a situation and you outnumbered, do what you know you need to do, but. Most dudes are bitches. Let's just keep it a bean. I'm going to be honest with you. Most guys are walking bitches. They hoes. I say that to say. If you a bitch, you shouldn't be procreating. You should not be the father of nothing. Look at it from the kid perspective, whether he's here or not yet. Would you want your father to be a bitch or somebody that's scared and running? And no, wait, you would not. So do your 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 future kid that favor as well and not be a bitch. Because take it a step further. You a bitch, you getting stepped out on nine times out of ten. You getting stepped out on like stepdaughters. You getting cheated on. And I don't blame the female. Look at you. Literally running across the street like a GTA pedestrian. Let's continue. Can be unprovoked verbal abuse too. Twitch streamer Gria was subject to one such person as she walked down the street. She wasn't paying attention to her surroundings until the strange woman began shouting insults. Oh, yeah. I know you're filming some fucking her up. She's over it. Yeah. This causes her to stop in confusion as the woman complains about filming her, telling her to just call the station. Why you at your back? Why you have a little farm to the station? Huh? The streamer becomes flustered until right. the two strangers enter and begin corralling her away. Exactly. This unhinged individual seems to have targeted her for some reason, but the weird. streamer hadn't expected it. So her response is understandably confused. <sighs> Creepy old man approaches streamer. We in a matrix, man. IRL streamers deal with strange people all the time. This woman begins by playing along with his bizarre behavior. Yes, yes, yes sir. At least until he jumps in the frame. She looks uncomfortable, but nothing is quite like when he decides to push past her boundaries and kiss her on the shoulder. Oh, wow. If I'm streaming and you get in my face like that, my hair butt your ass like Naruto the Agara, you got me fucked up. What is, bro, what is wrong with people? This somebody daughter, that's crazy. And she just out and about in this dangerous world. Can't protect her. I know how I speak on the statistics a lot of the time about the children going missing. More than 800,000 go missing annually. But females got their own statistics as well. Even some guys get snatched in traffic as well, even though it's way lower it should be. But nonetheless, they is dangerous as soon as you step foot out your door. Take it a step further. You sitting on the ground playing the game. Bullets and ricochet and hit light poles and entered through the window and went through your neocortex. That happened before too, so it's like everything is what a risk. It's dangerous. We in hell. Surrounded by demons and devils. I wouldn't know what to think. If I had a daughter and this was my and that happened, I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't females got it tough. They really do, bro. If you a female, you forced to be Sonya Blade from Mortal Kombat. You need to know some skills. You need to have a blade, some pepper spray, and a gun. You need to be very excellent with it. Because this shit... This shit crazy, bro. He just... He don't even notice female. He just... <laughs> she does the best she can, being alone in her stream and causes a lot of noise and attention just to make sure people are looking. What? The man quickly scatters and leaves as the streamer stands there, still sort of reeling. Did he really think that was a good idea? That was weird as hell. Before the last clip, since you watched until this point, why don't you consider subscribing to the channel? We upload two new scary videos every week, so make sure to stay up to date with our new releases. You know his breath stinks. Creepy Stranger sizes up I Am Jasmine. Another streamer who deals with strangers, I Am Jasmine deals with it on a regular basis. She's in a cosplay outfit and complains to a group of men that people have been groping her on the streets. You know a lot of people have been groping me recently. One of the men quickly looks over her and says he wonders why. Which groping you so they they grabbing you by they grabbing you by the pussy like 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 Uncle Trump said. I think that's what that is. I, I think that's what that is. Yeah. 
That's crazy. Clearly makes the streamer uncomfortable. Like actually touching your body? Yeah, it's oh. fucking weird. Gee, I wonder why. She makes a quick exit, which is probably the best thing she could have done there. Oh, wow. Yikes! Oh, awesome. Yikes! I'm a failure of <laughs> The interaction probably wouldn't have gotten any better if it continued, so getting away is her best bet. Yikes is right. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X, formerly known as Twitter. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch Kick and Rumble. Before we start rumbling, I kick your ass and you end up twitching. Like how one of these pedestrians gonna be they ever catch me streaming and somebody try to stream snipe me. I'm liable to quick scope you up close. Or no scope. You will suffer fall damage though. I'll see you on the next video, man. I'm out.